What's up guys, your boy from Instagram, back at it again with another video. And uh, to continue this uh, first person kind of shooting experience, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot Cars and Coffee. I'm at Cars and Coffee right now. The way you shoot car meets is kind of different than how you shoot an individual car. A lot of people make that mistake. And I'm gonna kind of show you guys what I do versus what most people do. All right, so first things first, I'm actually gonna switch off the 16 to 35 2.8 for my 50 mil. The CPL I have is a is a freewell magnetic CPL. So you can take it off, put ND on there, pop it back on, do whatever. I think you can stack them as well. So if you want a CPL and an ND stacked, but they also sell an ND plus CPL. So I don't know why you would wanna do that. But yeah, it's magnetic, which is great because I bought a step up ring for my 50 mil so that the CPL fits on here as well. So let's go ahead and take this cap off put it on here put the 50 mil on the camera and we are in business now usually i bring my strap from peak design as well and i prefer that strap because it's like a, it feels like a seat belt material and it's super thick works great especially when you have a heavier setup with a prime like this Ooh, hold on hold on hold on just wanted you guys to see that shelby cobra right quick i mean there's two shelby cobras i don't know if you can see the other one behind my truck usually i use the strap i'm not going to use it today because it would get in the way the gopro footage as well wrap this stuff back up a little bit and let's get to it now i think i'm going to set my settings at all right so as far as settings i'm going to go for maybe one one thousandth maybe let's go one twelve one twelve fiftieth then we'll go f uh let's say f four and iso we can bring the iso down a little bit to be honest with you however i will say the eos r can handle some pretty high isos but I'm, i think i'm gonna put it around 1600 most people will consider that high but it's whatever now if you follow me on instagram you already know this gtr uh gtr done so uh Go check out the photos I did because they're sick. And that Mustang is gonna get pulled over. My Z01 Camaro. It feels so weird to use a CPL on a step up mount. How are y'all doing? Okay. This yours? Nope, no. Yeah, okay. Now, on the way here, I did hear a hurricane somewhere. Well, actually, he was right behind me. I just can't find him anymore. Well, wow, that 328 actually sounds kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. Six next to a C8. I'll take that. Ooh, this interior is interesting. Oh, there goes a the Huracan. Excuse me. But more interestingly, a manual V10 over here. Got the Viper. Now, I've seen this Huracan around a few times. Let's go ahead and take that shot. That looks incredible. Actually, I don't like that angle. Ooh, G82 M4. Ooh, the 50th anniversary G82 M4 with a new badge on it. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, I feel so weird walking around talking to myself and I'm trying to talk to y'all on this camera. Like usually like when I'm looking at a camera, people understand now like, oh, he's vlogging, but like when I'm just talking to myself, it's just weird. 
One thing I wanted to speak to you guys about was uh, when people go to car shows, they kind of like take photos and try and make it look like it's a photo shoot with a car alone and try and Photoshop all the people out and stuff like that. Me personally, I want the people to be inside the photo because it just gives more of a, it tells more of a story. Like you're trying to give the vibes off of what's going on at the meet and you're not doing that very well when you're trying to like only keep the entire, you're trying to take a photo of the entire car. You're trying to take, you're trying to get the entire car in the photo. You're trying to, I don't know, trying to kind of find in trouble to find my words right now, but uh. And that was a bad example of what I was talking about. But when you're taking photos at a car meet, a lot of people are struggling to like get the entire car in the photo, crop the car so that you can just see the car and not see the people. I think that's the wrong way to go about it because you can get a lot more and you can give off a vibe and like kind of tell a story through the people standing around the car. So I think that's a lot more beneficial to the photography. But uh, it just tells a, it just tells a good bit more of a story versus like trying to Photoshop everybody out and making it look like it's like a photo shoot along with the car. So I like to get people in the photos and I have no issue with people standing around the cars while I'm taking pictures. See, like, check this out. Perfect. What's going on, man? What's happening, dude? Hey, you're on video. Oh, what? Say up to the camera. <laughs> Sick R33. Yeah, yeah, I haven't even done a full walk yet. I've just been kind of doing yeah. random photos and man, stuff. Man, I'm telling you. And two R33s. Yeah. yeah, hopefully this GoPro lasts. Like, yeah. it gets so, get Dude, feel this. It gets so hot. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is. I thought they were supposed to be able to film for like hours and stuff. Yeah. And it's like the newest, like, highest end one, too. I, mean, I, took a I like what you're thinking. Get a photo <laughs> of the two. Yep. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, I'm going to take a picture of you taking a picture. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm going to take a picture of you taking a picture. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Yo, that's actually kind of solid. Hold on. That's actually pretty solid. I'm not gonna lie. That angle, that yeah, angle is just like on point. Yeah. And that's what I was telling people too. Like, it's all about it, the angles. As far as like the angles and stuff, like people try and get the cars alone. Yeah, yeah. But like the thing is, it's a car meet. You want to capture that you environment. Want to capture, yeah. Exactly. Hey, we're gonna go do a rolling session. Hey, for sure. I would say today. Today. If you're down today. I, I need a driver for my own car, bro. Dang. <laughs> I don't know if I can call. Let me see. Let me see if I can find somebody, man. I, I wanna. I wanna probably both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you want? Oh, you want to do two cars at once? Both. Yeah, and, and okay. on the same. Yeah. Then, uh, honestly, I'm free. Sunsets every day. I'm free from like six to like eight. So okay. it's whenever. Yeah, Give me your sure. number. Give me your number. Yeah, man. I'll get a photo of this turbo right here. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's not a CR. Wait, oh you talking about a blue one? Yeah, yeah. Dude, so he gave me a ride the other day, going through five points. This is what he was on the OEM tire from 2009. Bro, that shit's slick. Uh, um, not much, man. What's going on? Hey, what's going on? Man, it was good. Project 60R. Ooh, that should be interesting. Yo, oh, yes, y'all are all in. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so probably see. say uh, just have our Mac clears. See, like, check that out. See, so with this photo that I just took, it's a picture of the guy looking into the 911 versus, well, not 911, it's a Cayman GTS, but uh, I mean, not a Cayman GTS, a Boxer GTS. The guy looking into the photo versus like me trying to get a photo of it alone, sure, like it gives a picture of the car, but I can do that at any time. I can find a Cayman and take a photo shoot, right? But when you're at a car meet, you really want to give off the vibe and like give a story of like what people are looking at, what's going on, what kind of cars are there, what people are attracted to. And I think that's a much cooler picture than just like trying to take a picture of the car alone. And it kind of sucks sometimes because people think I want them out of my photos, but I actually want them in the photos because I'm trying to get like sick pictures. But you know, it is what it is. And I don't 
don't really do a lot of street photography, but this is kind of my form of street photography. I'm pretty sure I had a plumber over to the house and they have that exact same thing. What's that? The intake. Yeah. Oh, you're bringing a new one? Oh, is that the uh, boxer? Yeah. Okay. Pretty nice. That's a new, that's a new GT3. Nah, that's, oh, you mean like one that's new here? Yeah. yeah that's not Charleston. the uh, same one as the silver no. one? No. Oh. That guy is probably somewhere else. Hey, no, stay right there. No, like act like you're act like you're filming it. Huh? No, act like you're filming it. Filming yeah, it? go back to it. Yeah. Yeah, look at it. Here we go. Appreciate it. Send that Somehow my ISO has moved up to 3200. Sometimes, see the 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 touch bar is a blessing and a curse. I wish they would have just put a regular knob there. You can still map different controls to it without it having to be a touch pad, which is, a, I think was kind of dumb to begin with. Like it was kind of cool, but it was kind of gimmicky. Yeah. Man, Corvettes rolled deep today. Got one, two, three, four, five. It's like a row of 10 right here. Another row of another seven right here. Jesus Christ. Clean, clean, clean E92 M3. This is gonna be my next car for sure. Ooh, the cloth inserts on the seat. <laughs> Stick shift, nice. Wait, I think I know the owner of this. Ah, sometimes you gotta do anything for the shot. Ooh, just shot this R8 in the last episode. You got a parachute on? Indeed. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Clear taillights too. That's an interesting interior exterior combo, but I kind of I kind of like it. What's that? The XB7? Oh yeah. Man, that's sick. Oh yeah, they do not have. I mean, you mind if I see the back seats? Yeah, back seats. Oh, sorry. Cool. Wheels are cool, too. Oh, this is getting almost like Bentley. Bentley basically, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Alpinas are basically just like nicer BMWs, essentially. Yeah. Man, I drove an M50i oh, 7 yeah. Series, and that thing was quick. I know these are like way oh faster gosh. at that. Yeah, you gotta be careful with this. I have speed every time I drive. You want to oh, see the with the uh, G82? Yeah. Oh man, yeah. My friend has a um, G80. This is This yours? Yeah. Nice. 
and he has the exact same interior as well. That's nice. Yeah, check this out. All right, guys, so uh, my GoPro is getting way too hot. I don't know what's wrong with it. If anybody's an expert with GoPros and stuff in the comments, definitely let me know. But uh, this thing is overheating after like 30 minutes. I haven't even been here that long. And it's like the highest in like GoPro Hero 10 Black. I don't know why it's like overheating, but it's overheating and it's hot. So I can't really film too much more with it. So make sure you subscribe, like the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, if you want to see more of these, let me know. And uh, yeah, subscribe. See you later.